I'm Scott and today I'm going to show you how I took this fan out and replaced it with this fan on Data It Yourself. Alright, so we're at my brother's house and that is his fan in his bathroom. I'm sure you can hear that. The cool part about this one is it's actually attached to the lights. Was that the coolest noise ever or what? Okay, I gotta give you another hint here. Okay. I'm six foot tall, and this is about six and a half feet off the floor. So I don't even need a ladder to work on this. So we're gonna tear this out, and we're gonna replace it with this one. And of course, this house is probably over a hundred years old. I'm going to deal with rust and all kinds of weird stuff. But let's get started. All right, so I'm on the mic. I'm going to open this up before I turn the power off. But just found out <coughs> how the house is uh, early 70s, late 60s. Let's see what's in here. Oh, not too bad. Take a look up in there. Looks like I got a screw. And hopefully I'll be able to get that out. Let's see. Power off. It's gonna get dark. Ooh. That was kind of scary, actually.
okay I got that thing out of there that was a pain it was installed before the drywall was put up so thus the mounting brackets are screwed to that piece of structure there and then slide over Let's see if we can get some light up in here it's hard to see but over on this side in the dark and there's the exhaust right there doesn't look too bad and the wires let's go ahead and put the new one in now okay the first thing I'm gonna do is cut this hole a little bigger so I can get this fan in here right there right there oh not bad let's start with a razor blade see how that works So the next thing I need to do is install this bracket up in here on structure, but the structure is too far back from the edge of the drywall. So I have to fur it out from the structure. And I'm gonna use these boards right here to get those in there. that on the hole and there we go next step gotta hook this hose back up oh I've got a nice lot of excess on that so that's nice and easy put that on there Nice and tight. Clamp over there. There it is right there. And tighten that up. up the electrical and I ended up deciding to go with this top knockout just based on the way the wires were laying up in the structure so we'll put that back in that hole right there and then tie the nut on what did I do with the nut so the last major thing we got to do is get this fan up in that hole and into this clip right here Hole's big enough, everything's ready to go. Let's try it. Get around that bracket. Oh, wow, that is tougher than it looks. Oh. Here we go, sounds like it's getting there. There it is, up in the hole. Let's get this thing wired. The electrical on this is pretty simple. Green to ground, white to white, black to black. Okay, and before we button this thing up, let's test it to make sure we're getting power. All right, let's test it out to see if I hook those wires up right. Well, that sure sounds good. There we go. Maybe a little patch right there. And this will be good as new.
actually took me about an hour. If it would have been new construction, even less. Any homeowner can do this if they follow the instructions and practice proper electrical safety. Speaking of electrical safety, if you're not comfortable working with electricity, find someone who is or hire a licensed professional. I'll have a link to this fan down in the description, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in, and the subscribe button's right down there. Thanks for watching Data Yourself.